So we're going to roll into the next pick. This is one of the titles that I was able to read, and I enjoyed it. In fact, it kind of threw me off. I mean, I read the solicit, and the solicit to me read as kind of a image version of Suicide Squad, where they get six criminals to help. But call me naive, call me whatever. At the time, I didn't realize it kind of took place in like medieval times. <laughs> so they're getting attacked. And um, being bombarded, it's almost like hellfire is coming down on them and they can't escape it. And they found that the only way to defeat it is to enlist these six criminals. And the female on the cover, her character, you're definitely going to want to read it. But not if you are looking for something that's PG or PG-13. Because, um, yeah, she's in prison for a reason. And some 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 guy tried, tried to put his hoo-ha in her... Mouth. <laughs> and she let him. But read the book. You'll find out why. But great story. I enjoyed the first issue, so I'm definitely picking this up, at least through the first arc. And I'd be interested, anyone else in the chat that, that's read this book, or if you're watching this on the replay, put it in the comments. What did you guys think of Reaver number one? Are you going to keep it in your pool list? Or are you still looking for this issue? I've heard some places that um, the comic shop didn't have many copies. I went to Third Eye Comics today, and they had – Plenty of copies available, but I definitely enjoyed this first issue. What what did you think about this, Jack, or what do you have to tell us about this book? I really like this book. Um, first off, I have to mention that I'm a Justin Jordan fan. I, I have liked his work for a while. His image series is, have been excellent. Um, I've also gotten to talk to him. at several, He comes to Heroes Con every year, so I've talked to him and gotten signatures from him over the last several years, uh, several times. Um He's a real genuine, nice guy, and you got to root for people like that. And he's a real creative guy, and um, it's, I'm glad to see him have another hit on his hands here. Um, I also have to say, of all of the Brian Wood uh, reading reviews, that one might have been my favorite because we got the word hoo ha. Hoo ha. So, <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't know how you when you started that. I did not know how you were going to navigate that because I did read this book as well. So yeah. I didn't know where you were going to go with that, but uh, yep. yeah, you kept, you kept it to the PG, uh, I guess, 13 level. Yeah, we try but, to keep PG 13, <laughs> okay? But um. yeah. but yeah, so the, I mean, I think this book is excellent. Um, I mean, I hate to use this term all the time. I think it's heavily adaptable. And again, I think Justin Jordan, he has a really good mix of like these kind of like dark horror stories. They tend to have a lot of sexuality in them, and there's always kind of like this kind of mystery element and I'm, I'm going to keep this book as one I'm pulling because I think I'm, I'm interested to read it. Um, and I'd like to know how everybody else thinks, but yeah, it, it definitely had some spec buzz. There were some $10 sales on this book this week and there were some people reporting they weren't able to get it. Now, Brian mentioned that he was able to find it real easy at third eye. My suggestion to be, to anybody who isn't able to find it is look for these larger stores. Third eye is a very large comic brand. They have multiple stores they tend to be on top of Image Comics releases pretty well. But yeah, your local store, they might, if you're in like Fort Mill, South Carolina, Rock Hill, South Carolina, like myself, you know, they might lump in Image Comics releases with a lot of other indie releases and only order for subscribers plus a few. Um, so yeah, that may be tough. But I think if you work hard, you can find cover price copies of this. So, you know, just be on the lookout for those. Um, keep an eye out because I think this is a book that may have some staying power. We'll